Since April is National Poetry Month, I thought I'd share with you a lot of books about poetry and wordplay that I hope you enjoy. This one is a great one. It's What a Day It Was at School by Jack Perlutsky. Pictures by Doug Cushman, which you can't see because I don't have it in a good spot for you. I apologize for that. Um, it's a wonderful book. I'm especially proud of this right here, where you'll see it says, To Mr. Abel, and it's signed Jack Proletsky. So I'm very excited to actually have a book signed by such a great author. I can't do all the poems in it. Let's see, the parent cat is saying, tell me about it. The little one says, it's in my journal. There's lots of them. I can't do them all because I only got about five minutes. So I'm going to launch right in here and do just a few of them. Here's one called I Tried to Do My Homework. I tried to do my homework and I finished late last night. It was our science project, but I couldn't get it right. I made a little creature out of seven kinds of slime, plus pudding and pastrami and a lemon and a lime. The thing began to wiggle in a creepy sort of way. I sensed that my experiment was going far astray. It started making noises that I didn't understand. This was truly unexpected. Not at all what I had planned. It warbled and it whistled and unleashed an awful roar. Then it bobbled up and down a bit and oozed across the floor. Then suddenly the thing I'd made went totally berserk. My science homework hate my dog. I guess it needs some work. Here's one called... I made a noise this morning. Some of you may be familiar with this experience. I made a noise this morning that I didn't mean to make. It truly was an accident, an error, a mistake. I don't know how it happened, but it suddenly was there, filled with great reverberations that resounded in the air. It made a strong impression on the people in the room. A lot of them reacted like they'd heard a sonic boom. They looked at one another as if asking, was it you? They were laughing. They were pointing. I behaved the same way, too. I couldn't keep from joking with the other girls and boys, and never once admitted it was I who made that noise, though I'm sorry that I made it from the bottom of my heart. In a way, my brief eruption was a little work of art. Here's its library time. It's library time, and I read to myself a book about knights that I found on a shelf. I start to imagine the more that I read that I am a knight on a powerful steed. I conquer a dragon to show I am brave, then vanquish a troll in its dingy dark cave. I ride through the land doing deed after deed, for we have a library where I can read. And I'm going to jump here. I think I'm going to jump here because I'm running out of time. To I drew a yellow unicorn. I drew a yellow unicorn complete with polka dots and seven-legged elephant, a, pair, a pig with purple spots. The sky was full of furry fish all flying upside down. An octopus was dressed in plaid. A camel wore a crown. I drew a green rhinoceros that floated on the breeze. Some bees as big as basketballs and blue spaghetti trees. And penguins wore pajamas and a carrot flew a kite. My teacher says, it's beautiful. I think my teacher's right. And here you can see at the end, after looking at the journal, it says, my, my, what a day. I can't wait until tomorrow. Neither can I. That's just a sampling of some of the great poems in What a Day It Was at School by Jack Prolutsky one of America's great, great poets.